Hi, I'm Exocon. Welcome to my channel Into Space and back to Starfield, our adventure in episode 11. Last time, in the last episode, we were on this colony ship over Paradise, Paradiso. I think it is Porima 2. Yeah, uh, planet Porima 2 and city Paradiso. And we got the hyperdrive for this colony ship. So the colonist, Earth colonist, after 200 years can jump wherever they want, but only away from this planet. It's still a little bit sad that this ship is so small in the universe, but on the inside it's so big, so it's always the same uh, like in Skyrim, Morrowind, Fallout. A little bit sad, but yeah, who cares. So, today we are going on mission. We have to find the eye, or visit the eye, the empty nest into the unknown. Sarah has asked me to go to the eye, a star station that constellation owns an orbit of Jemison. I need to meet with Vladimir Saul about finding more artifacts in the fringes of space. This will be our new task. So we are... No. Map, please. Thank you. And I have to take the time to install some mods because... Shorten the loading screens. Make this... Um, yeah, make some things a little bit better. So can we go just... Yeah. Okay, here we go. Our hyperdrive had four power blocks activated and we are going. Yes, we're here. We're here, yeah. Our last jump to Alpha Centauri. Whoa, not everyone at once. Barrett. Wait, wait until the UC idiots get silent. Yeah, thank you, madam. Uh, but. Okay, where is. Where's the eye? Um, you see, Sek Chimera. Shime it's like the throne ship from Star Wars. Mm, so we go to the lodge. No, not to the lodge. Space station. Space station. Oh, yeah. Here we go. 13 kilometers. I believe it's. Seven, round about seven and a half miles. Wait, 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 what is with our engine? Yeah. And power down our missiles. And put more on the engines. Okay. One more on our normal weapons. Ballistics. I believe it's our ballistics. Oh. Laser. Ballistic. Missiles. Uh, 13 kilometers it takes some time even with full engines at 
Hmm, wait. Let's take definitely too long. Where is the station? The eye. Okay. Air travel. Fast travel option is always an option. And we are here. Whoa! Did you see how small it was? Okay, we have somehow to dock. The same problem as always. Okay. Range. The ship is so big compared to the space station. Um... Ah, okay. Docking! Visiting Vladimir. Docking site complete. What? Haven't set foot on the eye for ages. Hope Vladimir is in a good mood today. Hope for him too. Hello, Captain. Hello, Vesco. Wait, I can't use it here. I can, I can, I can. That's a software problem. But nice, you can walk. Oh no, put the gun away. <laughs> Sarah, you are firing on everything. And we are in space, so it's not so enjoyable. Airlock D01 e is yeah not so good. So for real, I don't understand why we have lo so many loading screens because we see the actual outside of the world. We can also see outside the windows of our spaceship. We have the. It's not like a small house in Skyrim. Good day, hmm. Captain. Don't know. There will be some limitations of the Crimson engine. Also close. So we we took the only only good airlock. <laughs> uh, first time. Hundred points for me. Am I so heavy? Wait. Inventory. Okay, two kilograms. Okay, okay, we are going to Vladimir. Oh, so beautiful. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Goodness. And here I thought it was the only one in Constellation who worked out. Nice arms. Good to meet you, Vladimir. I'm no rock. I was a space miner. <laughs> rock on deck? That's a pirate talk, isn't it? Former Crimson Fleet. An old jackalbones would be the term for it. Back in my day. Left that life behind me. Even before I signed up with Constellation, I was retired. Nice to meet you, sir. Glad you two finally have a chance to meet. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Someone shouldn't have grabbed are you? It was incredible. That happens to me too. I get lost in something and lose time. Peeking through the eye. More pirate talk. That one's all on me. The eye is the nickname for the star station. Think of it as one big telescope. Always preferred working alone. 
even around people I like. But we're all working together on this one. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Okay. Understood. I need to check on these leads in person. You are asking me to chase ghosts? Yeah, could... There could be nothing. The Sea of Light? No matter how good the scan, it's still just peeking at light, and she only has one speed. Ultimately, we're not looking at a planet. We're looking at the radiation coming off a planet, and that takes years to get here. A lot of interstellar bodies in the way, too. All that noise makes squaring the circle harder. Only going to be able to give you so many at once. Understood. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. <laughs> I will keep an eye out for Andrea. Exploration takes time, I'm sure he's fine. Another rook in constellation who's making a name for herself. Likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway. Hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Thanks. Um, have we still any... So you retired from the crimes and fleet. Didn't know what that happened. Uh, how did you get mixed up with Constellation? You visit at large often. Your artifact search must be a full-time job. I make the visit when they need me. Don't mind the loner's life most days, and the eye is important work. But I should make the trip more often. Can't let Walter be the only one tending bar there too long. Everyone will forget what a good drink tastes like. <laughs> Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on. But if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Wow! Visit Vladimir's house. There's something I'd like to discuss. Yeah, sure, Sarah. Remember our last conversation? When you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy. Well, it got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. You never mentioned your predecessor <laughs> to, be be to me before. I'd like to... I know what's the word mean. Predecessor... Oh, I can't pronounce this right now. Sorry, I'm out. <laughs> I'd like to discuss this with you later. Were any of the old journal entries helpful? Uh, unfortunately, no. Other than you and Barrett, there were no records of direct encounters with the artifacts. I have to admit, though, I did get more than a bit sidetracked reminiscing about old times. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. I feel like we are making some good memories out of, of our own. Aya must have been quite an amazing person. Keep talking like that I might get jealous. 
Asha Mamasa. Asha. She was the youngest member of Constellation when it was founded. Only took her 15 years to reach chair. Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget that I wasn't the first. Ah, oh, she absolutely was. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Maybe she was just trying to keep an eye on the rookie. The rookie being paired with the chair sound awful familiar. Being paired with the boss must have been quite an honor. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I adopted her methods. You know, Aja and I logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. But it was the journey itself that I'll never forget. I can relate to that. I find the journey boring, but I live for the destinations. Did you two discover anything I might have heard about? We catalogued unusual stellar phenomena, a few habitable worlds, and some unique life forms, but nothing SSNN would bother to report. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Well, for me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. So I've noticed. I take I'm the protege on this journey. It's good to know, since I'm gunning for your position. <laughs> Cozy is isolation. Uh... At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, <laughs> yeah, all this talk about face, Aja expression. reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. What happened to her? Oh, yes, <laughs> see. Oh, is she uh, dead? Sounds like you two were in love. Mm, at least she left a vacancy for you just to fill a share. I respected her and I considered her a dear friend, but we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Wow. We came just from this planet over uh, where the colony ship is just over the planet. I do the best I can make our journeys just as pleasant. I don't I don't know. She sounds like a tough act to follow. Well, hopeful I'm suitable substitute. Are you sure visiting Aja now would be such a good idea? Hmm. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. No. Just be yourself. Okay. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, <laughs> that's what intrigues me about you. With my brain on your muscles, Sarah, we can conquer the galaxy. Well, you certainly have me all figured out. If you're wrong, I hope you won't be disappointed. Flirt. I'd like to discover more about what we have right here. I... <laughs> I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. Okay. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. Huh. So. I've seen all it can for the moment. Good luck out there. Thanks, Vladimir. Sarah, you're coming? Sarah? Vesco, close the door. You're coming or not? Sarah. Well, that was fun. Now what? Now? Let's get out there and do something new today, shall we? Wait, we have... First, get rid of our cargo I have with me. Mm. I have too much weapons. Or 
Or still sad about the pistol from my parents that get lost. But yeah, what can I say? Nothing. And our 27 digipicks we will need. Hopefully. Okay, let me through. Barret. Thank you. So, what's our mission? Wait. We already undocked? Oh, we are still undocked. It's fine. Find Andrea. Go to Piazzini 1. Vladimir location. Go to this Sumati. Talk to Sam Co. No. Um, I was asked me to be a lookout for Andrea. But where is his. Where is the side mission? All. Visit Vladimir's house. Location of the ESC constant. Check the computers lost and found. Find a distress call and a character carib system. Talk with Barrett. Complete a research project. Craft or modify an item. Check in constellation mission board. Talk to bartender at viewport. Use hand scanner to place an outpost beacon. Speak with Trevor. Checked out your ships in the inventory. Talk to Sergeant Yumi. Speak the commander to her. Still have lost contact. Dream house. First, we are going to visit Vladimir's house. Undocking. Leaving the space station. But okay, it's really small. It's really, really, really small Where space station. Is Where is it? Of us. Hmm. <laughs> Here she is. Okay. So let us look where Vladimir's house is. There, some somewhere. Whoa! It's really far away. No, 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 no. Oh. No! Just jump. Thank you. Okay, we have to manage the... Yeah. Activate our hyperdrive. No hyperdrive, no hyperspace. Easy going. Nice Thanks, Sarah. And we have to move farther. To El Batani. Why not? Come on, come on. Turn the radio on. Hyla to Hyla jumping. Also a new system. <laughs> Too late. Too late. Oh, welcome to Hyla. Swiped an asteroid. Need some repairs. I had a good feeling about 
got you. We just need a little. Two units of ship parts will do. Gift three ship parts. Here you go. Sorry, I can't spare the ship parts. You must have been mistaken for someone who cares. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. Of course. Credits! 1300. 100. Three Star Ranger. I had a good feeling about you. Oh, he jumped away. Fine. And we are going even farther. So, and we are at Surma. Mysterious, mysterious captain. We really don't ram him. Very yeah. profitable as well. <laughs> I'd appreciate appreciate it if you explain yourself. This cryptic act is bugging me. I don't have time for this. Goodbye. Is that your ship? Trade and ships incredibly expensive. Who are you? What are you talking about? Oh, this whole thing? I suppose it did cost a few fortunes. But it is nice to travel with a modicum of style. I really can't say, as much as I'd like to. It may mean nothing, but I'm rooting for you. Okay, thanks I guess. I have no idea what you're talking about. Stop playing this stupid game. Rooting for what? Sorry, can't say. <laughs> Hopefully all will make sense in time. Good luck. Please, just be careful. Very careful. I hope to see you at a much later date. So if I just fire at her. Late. Um mm -hmm. a bonded fuel depot. But where is our landing position? Let's villa. History of the Settled System, Soul. Date 2308, 2311. Exiting ship. What I'm seeing, this world has all the essential building blocks to support life. Hmm. It's really nice, Sarah. Yeah, Vesco, protect the ship. So this is the way to Vladimir's house. Interesting part. Interesting help to us. Sarah, don't stay behind. You get lost. Patient discovered. Okay, I have to... 
For the next we go to the location of the ESC constant. Nice, with a... It's not a pool, it's um Viewing point. Often you is use such thing for... I hope in English is koi, koi, karpfen, <laughs> the red fishes, Japanese fishes. Oh. Clap trap. He learned to go over staircases. Awesome. I hate that all, of nearly all doors are some kind of same type. And you can... As you can see, Vladimir's time with the Crimson Fleet proved to be quite lucrative. One can only hope he's left that way of life behind. Are you nervous, Sarah? Uh... <laughs> it's a uh, future Dyson, I believe. Nice. We have a really nice house. Okay. What's behind the door? We have to check later. What was the mission? Okay, we checked on his house. So we are going again. Yeah, the side missions are not often very... So interesting. Sarah! Okay. But you have to close the door after you are going out. Yes, we are starting. Recycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing. Alright. Orbital insertion done. Time to dance among the stars. of earth you have also so really many structures just floating into space okay where is our next mission point cricks Crimson Fleet. Yeah, come on. Come on, boys. Oh, wait. to board them. Okay. The car. 
want. Can we make this with him? The ship hold integrated is low. Only one enemy left. Bye bye. Love to get these items. And repair. Yeah, take, 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 take. So, have we more here? Engine is really damaged. Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Full reverse! Back, Captain! Water? Okay. I don't know why we can't repair it. We will figure it out later. But first, just... You see, Sister Longsword 2. But I hope we didn't destroy it. Very nice. Okay. So. Our next... Wait, 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 wait. Sorry for the jumping, but... The system is really, really not so good. And to the next one. Hoping... We don't get some fun with... Pirates. Again, a planet full of scrap muscle around, just floating. I hope. I hope the repairs will not cost a fortune because I think we have not so many credits and I don't want to cheat in this game. I will try one playthrough without any cheating, uh, extra mods for cheats, credits, um, materials or something else. Space at Sheeran? Where does the sound come from? Valentine. Where is Valentine? No, 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 no.
Hmm. Where is our space at Sheeran? It's an interesting star system. It's a big star system. But it's still the wrong star system. We have to go... There are two star systems. Copernicus and Copernicus Minor. Jaffa, Porima. Why we can't just... Jump to... Okay, but first... Action, Crimes and Fleet. Oh my... I hope the pirates will not greet us directly after the hyperdrive jump. We will see. Wish us good, wishes us good luck. And, 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 and. We have our colony ship. But wait, what's inside the star system? ECS constant. The key. The key. Wait, had, didn't we have a mission on the key? Wait, we have still to land, no matter what. The razor leaf is really bad. It, it's like a nearly dead Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. So we have to dock, but where is the docking ring? I believe underneath. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 wait. And docking. First say with E, hello, and then with R, fucking. Thanks, Sarah. Time to get this ship moving. Hi. Hi, face guard. <laughs> so, okay. Um, where's our mission point? Wait. Didn't we have to get on this ship? Location of the ESC constant. Yes. Yes. I know someone on YouTube asked me uh, what happened to the ship ab above Paradiso, Paradiso. And I couldn't help him because I had no time to play the next missions but now i hope you will see this video never seen a ship like yours before then again i haven't seen any ships before you arrived <laughs> thanks man um or i can still reach to him out because now you can still visit this ship i i thought we will never see see the ship again my crew may not realize it now but we will be much happier with a home of our own. That was what I uh, told you. Don't blow it up. Repair it. Pay for it. Just you get rewarded. And the rewards are nearly the same as you paid. Sometimes if you are good uh, in talking with your merchants, you will get more out of all of everything. But I believe this ship in the future will play a greater role inside this universe so it was the right decision and you don't run always and just kill innocent people in first case first ask shoot them we can still shoot them but it's often much funnier Okay, so we have visited the constant, but it was no, the, no, not a real quest. It is just the location of the ship. 
It's amazing. It's still amazing because we can just visit it. Check the computers, lost and found, find a distress call of the Chalbite system. So that's just more activities you can do. Okay, so we have still a little bit time for this episode. We have a dream ho home. You have, uh, like I mentioned, I believe in a first or second episode, I have a perk. Not only with my parents, but you have a 135,000 credit mortgage on your dream home on the planet Nesoi in the Olympus system. You will have to keep paying a weekly mortgage payment unless you either pay off the loan or let Goldbank force loss or close on your property. For either of those, you need to go to Landry Hallfield at Goldbank's new Atlantis branch. So, we are going for this. But why? This system. Landry, Orphid, and New Atlantis about your mortgage. Okay. It's nice to see the ship. Okay, we didn't check if we still can... Uh, blow away this ship just to uh, overlock the reactor. Thanks, Barrett, for your information. For your in. Oh, this is Olympus, but we have got back to Alpha. Alpha Centauri. Ready. So, still. Finger cross. No pirate. <laughs> Otherwise, really fight for your life. Sagan, Sagan, Sagan 1, Sagan system. I hope I pronounce it correctly. Around a red star. Wait, it's a really. It's a really small system. Extreme environment, so we can't land here. Okay. It's beautiful. So just a crossing planet. We go into Cheyenne. We can't? Why? Now. So we're going back to secure territory, so everything should be safe. Oh, we visit the 20 systems. Achievement. Boss, me? No, thank you. Not today. Not everyone won't just land there. Oh no, I have to go still to Alpha Centauri. But still, okay. Just jumping. What's this? Is that Elmer just? Hmm. Should we just board them? Just say hello? So, a little new direction, not the dream house, but. Ah, uh, but it ca could take a lot more time. So, wait, we are going. don't like this system. It's so clunky. Click, a click, a click, and click, and click again. Tap key, tap key, click, and perhaps then we are on our way. 
Ey, Karamba. So sometimes you really try to laugh hard this game, but... Uh, uh, I have nothing. Industrial outpost? No, 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 no. I just want land. Still. Just. Just only landing. On the planet. Spaceport. Is this possible? Um, residential commercial testing. New Atlantis explore. We try just. When I see this picture, uh, so many people complain on the internet that you don't have real aliens. But these creatures, these living beings, are aliens. Just they don't came to you and uh, use laser weapons. Don't mean they're not aliens. <laughs> but still. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. Chris. Keep moving. Body scan. I know we could use a fast travel system, but I'm somehow a little bit old fashioned. I like the walkways when you don't have to do this every five minutes. Because then it's a bad game. A bad choices to create a product. But right now, it's okay. It's okay. We have still to make a tour of the city. Battle systems, news, network. Because yeah, we have visited once. Also, I believe in episode 2, this bank, and have some discussions with the lovely guy, Can you him, how many credits flow through this place? and it ended not good, so we have to quick reload our game, but it was in the name of science. We tested how all of them will react if we shoot someone in the shoulder. stumbling through their first day and who exactly are you just a star starship captain seeing what new atlantis has to offer i'm a member of constellation i'm the new receptionist side arms are now standard read the memo <laughs> really huh. you have your own ship oh this is perfect <laughs> kiss me really I have a business proposition for you that could uh, help us both out. Very lucrative. You buttering me up pretty thick. I'm interested. Is this legal? You're a law and order type? Well, this is perfect. This job is literally serving justice. And Gal Bank is the aggrieved party. And if you help me, you help all of us. Hmm, I'm interested. Good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, confession time. I might just be a little desperate. See, the world of credit analysis, you know, dealing with deadbeats and reprobates is, uh, well, it's a tough field. And what I need is a ringer. Someone that can collect some of our top delinquent offenders. What I need is you. You work with me, and the fee you get will be huge. Tell me about the marks then. What's the difficulty with debt collection? How many credits are we talking about? Oh, I can tell you're eager. That's good. But we'll start small and work our way up to the worst offenders. Hmm, tell me about the marks then. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, and I'm guessing you have, the settled systems is big. Like really big. Someone gets seriously underwater, they skip the system, and it's a real pain to track them down. Sad truth is, we can't track everyone down, so credit analysis always has a black eye when reporting to the higher-ups. Yeah. Okay, tell me. <laughs> so, we got a galaxy-class con man took out a loan to franchise a restaurant. Turns out, surprise, it was a scam. 
and Dieter Maliki Jumps System. Now, he's holed up in a literal shack in the middle of nowhere. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, the job is simple. Get Dieter to pay. And we don't want him dead. We don't want him hurt. Just close his account like an honest <laughs> citizen. Close his account. Let's collect some debt. Is he dangerous? What happened if he dies? How do I get him to pay? If he dies, then his assets go to probate. And we can get paid. So if he forces you into an it's you or him situation, it's A-OK -okay for Gal Bank's bottom line. A-OK. -okay. <laughs> but I cannot stress this enough. This is not the ideal outcome. We wanted him liquidated. We to put a tracker on him. Okay. Um, how do I get him to pay? You may need to lean on him. Scare him. Nothing illegal. Just talk to him. And don't listen to any sob stories he tells you. Any job I give you, I guarantee there's not some poor sick aunt that needs credits for surgery. These are scoff laws. Scum. Flagrantly violating the terms of their gal bank agreements. Okay. I'll send over all the details. Find Dieter and bring his account current. Decided to take a break from exploring to collect some debts. Yes, Sarah. Not exactly a constellation worthy pastime, but I'll follow your lead. I hate to end on this note, but you know, not everyone's a straight arrow. You cut a deal with Dieter. Honestly, I have no way of knowing. But don't expect any more jobs from me. Best of luck. I believe in you. I didn't ask, is he dangerous? Because uh, it don't make any sense. I don't care. Good I handle I mean. with everyone. I want to talk to you about my house on Neos. Nesoi. Nesoi? 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 Sounds like Asian. Asian? African? Nesoi? Nesoi? Do you like walking here? <laughs> For every delinquent that's cough, there's so many that get away. Is it worth it? No. We are just right. want to talk about so, my house. In the Olympus system, right? Yes. There's a balance on that property. Yes. Argos extractors negotiated a very fine loan for you. Yes. There are weekly payments, but if you miss a payment, no big deal. It's a pay as you go type of affair. But I think we'd all be happier if you dealt with the mortgage one way or the other. Tell my options. Certainly. So there are two ways to take care of a loan for good. One's easy. Just pay off the balance, then the house is yours, free and clear. And you are one very happy new homeowner. The other option, less ideal, is just walk away and we foreclose on the property. I don't have to spend uh, 125k. I can have the house go ahead and foreclose. That is a chunk of change, to be sure. But we don't do partial payments. Sorry, it's in the contract. If you get the money, though, we're happy to settle the mortgage for good. You have a good day. I thought had, that he had not said that I can't pay it weekly? Weekly 125k? How much is this house worth? Okay, whatever. We have to get some money from Dieter and hopefully he will he will not make some problems. Do in the full collect Dieter's market step. Okay, this is will will be our first mission. In episode 12 but first we are going to the UC bureau when we are still at New Atlantis and try to get our citizenship and some perhaps some missions from them you will see so this was episode 11 we saw the colony ship by some pirates talk to a very mysterious captain hope you could Take something also for your own game and I will see you in space in episode 12. Thanks for watching. Exocron out.